Hi, I'm Steve Thomas. This is not the Cacophony Podcast. Welcome to It's Not the World Cup of Largely Classical Music for the final time. We've reached the end. It's the final. Match 63 in Not the World Cup. And what an adventure it's been. I've learnt loads of new music and a bit more about the world along the way. Thanks for listening and playing along with me. If you haven't yet, do check out the Cacophony podcast. It's more of the same, but without the voting. Me talking about and then playing music I love, in the hope that you will too. And the whole thing is designed to help us hear more, feel more, and be more. More connected, more ourselves. New episodes come out on the 10th, the 20th, and the 30th of each month, when I'm not doing silly things like this. And it's all at cacophonyonline.com or on all the places where you can find podcasts. Plug done, let's do the final. It's Mexico and Germany. I've really enjoyed discovering more Latin American music over the course of the last few weeks. And one of the best discoveries for me has been the music of the Mexican Gabriela Ortiz. Her piece Cayumari went down really well in the earlier rounds, so I'm turning to her again for the final. Antropolis is a homage to the nightclubs and dance halls of Mexico City. Ortiz speaks about the importance of rhythm in Mexican music. In England, one composition professor suggested that she might tone it down a bit. But she said that would be like losing an arm. It's an integral part of her nature. It's definitely not turned down here. This is a riot of orchestral colours, sounds and rhythms. I don't think I've ever seen an orchestra having so much fun as in this video. And I'm not talking only about the timpanist, who has three extended solo spots. There's actually another clip on YouTube of Gabriela Ortiz actually dancing on stage with one of the players during the performance. It's quite a party piece to finish for Mexico. I feel slightly uncomfortable about my choices for Germany. By accident, I seem to have picked almost entirely 19th century music for them, which feels unrepresentative. But there are so many big names in German music that you simply can't ignore. My final pick then, piece number 110 in Not the World Cup, is by Felix Mendelssohn. And it's the final movement of his Scottish symphony, number three. A piece first inspired by a trip to Scotland, but not finished for 12 years, like some forgotten holiday project that nags you from the jaw, or that bag of photos that I was going to put in an album. And it contains no actual Scottish music, so maybe it's just inspired by the memory of that trip to Scotland. It's ten minutes that sums up his symphony, but it's also a good snapshot of Mendelssohn's style. It's got drama, vitality, a gossamer lightness of touch, and great tunes in the first few minutes. And then comes a moment of heart-stopping stillness from clarinets and bassoon, and a handbrake turn into the final joyful climax. It's a big open-hearted tune that makes me think of the sun coming through the mist, and maybe long-departed adventurers coming home over the mountaintop. There's something deeply satisfying about it. Have a listen, vote for One Piece, share and cheer on your team. And be pleased that none of this great music has to lose. We're all the winners here. How cool is it to have such great and varied music? I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, and would like to help keep Cacophony online, there's a link in the notes to my page at coffee.com, where you can make a one-off or regular contribution. Anything will be very gratefully received. Please come back for more Cacophony next time. Thanks for playing. Thanks for listening.